On today's episode, we're making some new molds. I, I may have a problem. Hey guys, what's going on? Michael here. So I just can't help myself. I am back to work making some new molds. Ooh, somebody stop me! I've got three molds that I'm going to be working on today. So I'm starting out by doing my rice grain trick to figure out what the volume of uh, this first mold is. Now this one in particular is actually going to be of some stalagmites and uh, I have to say it's the largest mold that I have ever made. It actually took three full cups of rice um, to fill the entire mold. I'll be using Smooth-On's Mold Max 14 to do this, which is my go-to product. It's a two-part silicone specifically designed for mold making. After measuring out all my part A's, I give them just a couple of minutes on the vibration table just to let some of the air bubbles rise out of them before I add the part B's. Now the part B's are a 10 to 1 ratio, meaning if I have 100 grams of the part A, then I use 10 grams of the part B. takes a full two minutes of stirring each one of these cups before they're ready to pour.
I used to try and use tiny little spring clamps to attach my molds, but I found that a few rubber bands works great. I turn the vibration table on while I pour the silicone into the mold, and I take care to stream it from high up so that all the bubbles break on their way down. Now that we're done pouring, we're going to turn the vibration up higher and just let the bubbles pop out of it. On to mold two. This one's going to be done the same way as the first mold, uh, except that now we're doing bubbling lava pits instead of stalagmites. I use MAN 200, which is a spray-on release agent for all of these molds. I'll spray two coats, the first one I brush on, and then a second mist, and then give it about a two minute dry time before we want to pour our silicone in. If you're interested in learning more about how to do mold making, I have specific videos on one part and two part molds where I go into this process more in depth. Now that our last mold of these grass tiles is ready, we can pour the silicone on in and let it vibrate to get the air bubbles out.
By building the mold with Lego blocks, I can take all the sides off of this and get the mold out without causing any damage to it or the original casts. These molds seem to be turning out perfectly with just a little bit of cleanup. This was the only mold that I had any issues with. I had a tiny little piece of the silicone rip in one of the corners and I was able to recover that piece of silicone and then glue it back in with Silpoxy. Now with all three of our molds complete, I'll be able to start running casts in my Merlin's Magic Plaster and start making bulk quantities of these pieces. Hey, if you like these videos and want to help me keep making them, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button.